Today's drug is potassium chloride. Brand names Chlorcon, KTAB, and Micro-K. The therapeutic category is that it's an electrolyte supplement. Dosage form and strength. The medication comes as an extended release capsule in an 8 milli equivalent and 10 milli equivalent strength. It also comes in a packet that is a 20 milli equivalent strength. It also comes as an intravenous solution in a 10 milli equivalent per 100 milliliter concentration, as well as a 10 milli equivalent per 50 and 20 milli equivalent per 50, and many other concentrations. There is also an oral solution that comes in a 20 milli equivalent per 15 milliliter and a 40 milli equivalent per 15 milliliter concentration. And lastly, there is an extended release tablet that comes in an 8 milli equivalent, 10 milli equivalent, and 20 milli equivalent strength. The main indication for potassium chloride is for hypokalemia. This is used in treating and preventing patients that have low potassium. Dosing by indication. Dosing for adults with hypokalemia. The first thing to note is to know the normal daily requirements is between 40 and 80 milli equivalents per day. When preventing hypokalemia, the range is between 20 and 40 milli equivalents per day in 1 to 2 divided doses. When treating mild to moderate hypokalemia, the dosing varies based on the dosage form. For capsules, tablets, and solution, the range is between 40 and 100 milli equivalents daily in divided doses. Limit the single dose between 20 and 25 milli equivalents per dose to avoid GI discomfort. If using the powder for solution, the range is 40 and 100 milli equivalents daily in 2 to 5 divided doses, with each dose not exceeding 40 milli equivalents per dose. The max is 200 milli equivalents per day. Treating severe hypokalemia. Initiate 40 milli equivalents 3 to 4 times daily and may consider 20 milli equivalents IV every 2 to 3 hours while carefully monitoring the patient. Approximately 10 milli equivalents will increase serum levels by 0.1 milli equivalents per liter. If using IV intermittent infusion, less than or equal to 10 milli equivalents per hour, repeating as needed based on labs with continuous ECG monitoring, if greater than 10 milli equivalents per hour are used. If the serum potassium is greater than 2.5 milli equivalents per liter, up to 3.5 milli equivalents per liter, the dosing is the max infusion rate of 10 mL equivalents per hour with a max concentration of 40 mL equivalents per liter. Max 24 hour dose is 200 mL equivalents. If less than 2.5 mL equivalents per liter or if the patient has symptomatic hypokalemia, the dosing is 40 mL equivalents per hour along with continuous ECG monitoring and frequent labs may require up to 400 milli equivalents per 24 hours. Dosing for pediatrics with hypokalemia. There is limited data, so refer to the most current literature. For prevention, the dosing is 1 to 2 milli equivalents per kilogram per day in 1 to 2 divided doses. A single dose should not exceed 20 milli equivalents per dose unless labs suggest higher dose is required. Treating mild to moderate hypokalemia in pediatrics. Oral dosing is between 2.5 milli equivalents per kilogram per day in divided doses. Max single dose of 1 to 2 milli equivalents per kilogram or 20 milli equivalents, whichever is less. If treating severe hypokalemia in pediatrics, the IV dosing is 0.5 to 1 milli equivalents per kilogram per dose with max dose of 40 milli equivalents. Infusion rate of less than or equal to 0.5 milli equivalents per kilogram per hour. Serum concentrations should be elevated 1 to 2 hours after infusion. If doing maintenance dosing for pediatrics with hypokalemia, Infants and children less than or equal to 50 kilograms, IV dosing of 2 to 4 milliequivalents per kilogram per day. 
in children weighing more than 50 kilograms, IV dosing of 1 to 2 milliequivalents per kilogram per day. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology Potassium is an essential major cation responsible for the conduction of nerve impulses in the heart, brain, and muscle. It is also important in maintaining normal renal function and acid-base balance. Another role is in carbohydrate metabolism and in gastric secretions. Absorption. Potassium is well absorbed from the upper gastrointestinal tract. Regarding distribution, potassium enters cells via active transport from extracellular fluid. Regarding excretion, it is primarily through urine, skin, and feces. Special Populations and Considerations Do not administer as IV push. Parenteral must be diluted prior to administration. 10 milliequivalents per 100 milliliters is an example of a max concentration with a max rate of 10 milliequivalents per hour, but may vary by institution. In patients experiencing extravasation, Stop the infusion and disconnect, as well as do not flush the line. Initiate haluronidase antidote. Remove the needle or cannula. Apply a cold, dry compress and elevate the extremity. When using hyaluronidase, inject 1 to 1.7 milliliters as 5 separate 0.2 to 0.3 milliliter injections with a 25 gauge needle. Regarding pregnancy, potassium has same requirements as pregnant and non-pregnant women. Potassium is not expected to cause any adverse fetal effects. Side effects. An overview of the side effects are upset stomach, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Some other concerns are cardiac conduction disturbances, edema, hyponatremia, which is low sodium, and extravasation. Drug interactions. As an overview, ACE inhibitors such as enalapril and lisinopril, ARBs such as losartan and valsartan, and diuretics such as spironolactone and triamterene, all of these may raise potassium levels. A specific drug interaction is with glycopyrrolate, which may enhance adverse toxic effects of potassium chloride. And another specific drug is heparin, which may enhance hyperkalemic effects of potassium chloride. Monitoring parameters. An ECG monitors sodium, other electrolytes such as calcium, chloride, magnesium, and phosphate monitor the acid-base balance. And if IV is the route, infusion rates, and the infusion site. Patient Counseling Information Potassium chloride is used as mineral supplementation to treat or prevent low amounts of potassium in the blood. Potassium is important for cell, kidney, heart, muscle, and nerve health. Abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and gas are common side effects, so take the medication with plenty of fluids to decrease stomach discomfort.